For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the basics of Sony Vegas. Now everything I'll be showing you is on screen right now. As you can see, the video is going to be separated into 10 different sections. These aren't just 10 random things, these are 10 things I believe you need to edit in Sony Vegas. Now when you first open up Sony Vegas for the first ever time, this is what it will look like. Now why do you need to change the layout? Well, if the layout isn't right for you, it's not easy on the eye, then you won't feel comfortable editing here. For example, this is the standard layout for Sony Vegas 12. I don't like this layout, I don't have it like this, so simply you can move stuff by moving the dots here by just dragging them like that and choosing it wherever you want. And then to get rid of them you press the X up here. And this is how I have mine, so I X out of the master volume, I also X out of this right here. This is allows you to preview the videos you have in the project, so I'm going to X out of this as well. And now this is my standard layout for Sony Vegas, it's easy on the eye, I've got everything I need here, I've got the video preview and I've got the timeline. Now in addition to that, if you don't like messing with stuff yourself, you can come to view windows layout and you can choose different layouts right here. So the default layout, which is what I just showed you, there's also an audio mixing layout and a color correction layout. Now as I've just made my own layout, as you've just seen, I exit out of stuff, I would like to save it. So I'm going to press save layout as, and now you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it editing and then press OK. Now this way, if I come back to view windows layout, you can see it's going to be right there. So I can click on that and it will open up this layout all the time. Okay, so you've got your layout nice and you like the way it looks. The next thing, we need to insert some videos and images. Now to do this, it's actually very, very simple. There are different ways. The easiest way I'd say, just find the video, drag it onto our timeline. So the video I'm about to drag on is raw footage of how to use Bandicam, the video I uploaded the other day. And this is it right here. So the way I put this on was simply just dragging it on. So you can see I've got my own folder for how to use Bandicam. I'm going to simply drag and drop it right here. And there it is. Now you can see it also drops to the projects media as well. So again, if you like split the clip, you mess it up, you can delete it and come back to projects media, drag it straight back on like that. Now the same thing applies for images. As you'll see, I have my outro here. I make it in Photoshop and then I have to drag it on. So here we go. I just simply drag and drop it on. And there it is, right there. And you can see it's also in the projects media again, so if I delete it from here, I can simply come to the projects media, drag and drop, and there we go. It's just there like that. Okay, so I have my raw video, I have my outro. Now it's time to know how to split and trim clips. So it's very simple, so simply zoom in, and you can see right here, I don't start talking till there, so we don't really need this first part. Come to the start of the clip, just drag it to the right. So left click, drag right, and there we go. So that's how we trim it right there. And you can see we stop talking here. We can't use the trimming tool like that because then we just get rid of the audio we've had here. So we're going to press S on the keyboard to split it. And then we're going to drag it again like this to where we start talking again, which is there. And simply drag it back into place like so. And now if we zoom out, we now have two sections of clips. We have the full video and the intro right here. So that's the way you split and trim clips. So simply again, you see this part right here, we've stopped talking, we're going to press S on the keyboard. We can come up here by left clicking and pressing S again. And you can see this is just a blank space, there's no talking, so we can go ahead and press delete on our keyboard, or we can simply right click and click delete here. And then drag it together, and there we go, like that. And then to hold control and press this, it means now you've selected two clips, and you can drag them both at the same time in sync. And you can hold control and do it again, take all three. Or if you press Control A, you now have control of everything in your timeline. You can simply drag it left or right. Now the next thing is inserting text. So let's say I want to tell people what the video is about right at the start, even though they've read the title. I could have right here how to use Bandicam. So I'm going to right click here and click insert a new video track. And I'm going to come to media generators. Then I'll select any text. So it can be titles and text. It can be text legacy. Text legacy is the one I always use. It's just got everything there for me. And this one right here, soft shadow, looks the best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that on top. And I'm going to just put how to use Bandicam. And you can see it's a bit big, so we're going to press Control A to highlight all the text. And then we're going to shorten the text about 50. There we go. 
and just X out of this. Now you can see it's not in the best position, it's literally just in the middle and it's covering up what's actually on my home screen. So we need to move it up. Now the way we can do this is with the event pattern crop right here or the track motion. Personally, I always use track motion when I'm moving my images, my text or my videos. So press this, make sure you're right at the start, make sure this is checked and you're at the start. Now simply you can move this to the side like so. And this is what we want to move right here. Now you can enable snapping so that way it's going to snap up into the dots as you can see. And you can see right there it stays nice and sharp. So we're going to move it up to about there. So press up arrow on your keyboard. And now you can see I want to take snapping off because it only snaps about there. And I want to move it up a little bit. So I'm going to take snapping off right here. And now we've got free movement so we can go up a little bit. And there looks good to me. I'm now going to X out of this. And you can see the text is in position just how I want it. And again, we're going to split it. We're going to trim it to there. That way it's going to stop after I've said my intro. Now let's say there's something specific you want to show in the video. For example, right here, I have my social media. I have my second channel and my other social media, which is Snapchat. Now let's say I only want to show them specific th things on this screen. We come to the event pan and crop. And now we will uncheck lock aspect ratio and uncheck size about center and then simply drag it down and we drag the bottom one up and we drag it from the right here and then we simply go to the left and drag it in again and you can see like that we've just cropped out the video like so and the video is still going to go on except for it's just going to go like that on this certain clip so you see when we get to this clip it's going to go back to full screen. Now the next thing, we've done some nice editing, we don't want to lose it, so just make sure you save your project as you're going along. How do we do this? We can press Ctrl S on our keyboard, or we can come to here and save it from here, or we come to File, Save As, and now you can save it to wherever you'd like. So I'm going to put it on desktop like I always do. I also make a separate folder, so I create a new folder right here. And then I'm going to call this um, Sony Vegas Basic Editing. Like that, press Enter, Enter again. And then we choose the file name as well. So again, I'm going to call it Sony Vegas Editing, like that. Just press save, and there we go. So now it's saved under Sony Vegas Editing.veg. That is the Sony Vegas file. So just make sure you do that while you're editing in case Sony Vegas crashes. You simply can come back, and Sony Vegas will have everything there. Now, the next things, let's say we want to add some transitions and video effects. So as you'll see at the start right here, it's just pretty plain. If we play this from the start, it's like, boom, it's straight on the screen. We've got nothing to like introduce it in a nice calmer way. It's more like a snappy tone, as you can see. It's just starting off like that. So maybe we can come to transitions and maybe we'll add, let's see what we can have. We can add a fly in maybe or a blinds. We can add a spin. So we're going to add a spin from the start right here. So we're going to go ahead and drag it right at the start of the clip. And you can see here, you can just mess around with different things on the spin but I'm gonna leave it the same and now this is what you'll get now this decides how long the transition will be so you can make it go one second I'd say one second is pretty good or you can go about I'd say two seconds for this clip because it goes all the way up to there which is five second clip I believe yes it is and then you'll see if we play this it's gonna go in like that now how to use bandy cam it's just there, it has no transition either. Now, how do we match the bottom one? Well, come to spin again, drag it right at the start, and we can X out of this. We can come here and just drag it further up like this, and we'll just line it up like so. We can use the mouse wheel to zoom in, and now that is zoomed in for me. And now you can see the preview's not the best, so we can come here and turn it down by going to good, auto, and that's turned it back down a little bit, the resolution, but that's okay, we're gonna press play. And that's what it'll look like. They'll flip in at the same time. Now, if yours was still lagging, you can come here and go to preview, auto, draft, or auto. You'll notice that the quality here will go down. That's nothing to worry about because when the video is rendered out, it's going to come in best quality as you render it. So now let's say we want to add some video effects. Simply come to the video effects tab and let's say we want to make it go black and white. Simply come to black and white here. And we can choose different types of black and white, so you can see 75%, 50%, 25%. Default is 100%, that's why I just missed it out there. So I'm going to add default on and just drag it onto the video track. 
And you can see we also get the blend amount of black and white again. So if we don't like it it's too much, simply turn it down like so. But I'm going to have it at 100% like that and press X. So now the first clip we just dragged it on is now in black and white. If we come to the next clip, it's in color. And this clip is also in color because we only applied it to this one. But if we want it to all tracks, we have to do it individually one by one. So you can see, drag it on, X out of this, drag it on, X out of this. Now all the clips are in black and white. So you can see that and that is also now in black and white. And then to remove it, let's say you made a mistake, you can press Control Z. So that just got rid of the one on this. And then let's say your control's not working or something, you can come to edit and you can do this right here, undo, add plugin. And there we go. And you can see if you come back, you can keep doing it here. But there's only a limited amount you can do it. Okay, so the next thing is how to preview and RAM preview. Basically, I just showed you how to preview. All you need to do is come here. This will play from the start. This will play from the current position on the timeline. So if you're here, press play. And it's going to play from there. If you want to go from the start, you press this. It plays right from the start. Now, RAM preview uses your RAM, which means if you have this all the way at best and full and it lags like this, if we use RAM preview, it will do it in the best quality. Now, how exactly do we do this? Well, it's actually very simple. If you double click here and you get this little highlight right here. So this is the RAM preview. Well, it's also the loop region. If we drag it out a bit like so, and we're going to make it RAM preview 3.20 seconds. So hold shift and press B on your keyboard. And this is going to begin to just render it out so you can preview it like that. Now you can see mine didn't do it all the way. That's just because my RAM's not the best. But if we go ahead and play, we're at best and full, remember? Look at that. Straight away, it's showing it in the best quality with no lag. The reason for that, we used RAM preview. So again, just highlight your area, press shift and B, and then just let Sony Vegas do things. Sometimes it might not do all the way, but that's okay. You can just do it in little sections. Now let's say we want to take a screenshot. So let's say it's black and white, it looks pretty good. Let's say we want to take a screenshot for the thumbnail. So this could be a thumbnail right here. Make sure you come here, make sure it's on best and full. And the next thing, simply come here and press this button right here. Save snapshot to file. So we press this. It's taken a screenshot for us. Now we can go back to the folder which we created. We're right there. And we can call it whatever we want. So I'm going to call it thumbnail. And as you'll see, press save. It's also going to come into our project media. So if we drag this on like this, we've got it right there. And you can see it's a bit messed up. It's because we use track motion. So if we insert a new video track and drag it on top, there we go. Now the final thing, your video is all done. We need to render it out. Now the way I like to do it is double clicking up here. We get the loop region again. Highlight everything you want to render out. So it's going to be the full video, I'm assuming. Come to file render as you'll notice we called it sony vegas editing when we saved the project you can see the rendering is also going to be called that because we saved the project as that now what i recommend to render as is this one right here wmv 720 30 frames per second is what i do all my videos in simply go in here make sure render lube region only is checked so that's the one we just done and then press render and there we go your rendering will begin and you can see if you have this checked this box right here will just close once rendering is done. But if you uncheck it, then it'll stay on the screen. Then you can open the folder or open the rendered video. And yeah, that is it for this video. That is the basics of Sony Vegas. And that will help you make a video in Sony Vegas very, very simple. Now, if you want to check out more advanced editing or other different tutorials, you can go ahead and check out my channel. I'll create a playlist full of all my Sony Vegas videos. I think I've done over 100 now. So yeah, there's loads of videos you can check out and loads of cool effects you can do in Sony Vegas. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when we're posting and what we're posting. Also, be sure to go and check out my technology news channel. I'll keep you updated on the latest technology news. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat if you sure to do throughout my day. See you guys next time. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Wait. Ah, peace. Oh, 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 oh,